boy, do you remember when Transformers ripped off that awful Suicide Squad movie? What a mess. You can't tell me Studio Series ran out of ideas with the first five live-action films since now we got the first Decepticon from the god-awful Last Night film. Weird that it's such a little guy with a short screen time, but it's also weird that this is, so far, the only official toy of him. Mohawk transforms into the front and back of a chopper fused together with a bunch of robot limbs. It's not even compact. They all just tab, peg, and go somewhere. From afar, I guess it's fine, but the handles have hardly any clearance, the arms stick out, it's a mess. The wheels roll fine, and at least he's got them. I do link the front with the lights, painted handles, and back with the painted chain and curve above the seat. The knife tabs on, and I guess a figure can ride it, but from inside, he's always watching, and that fin can come up and slice you. Well, I guess it does what's needed to compress itself into a vague shape, if that was the intention. Oh, well, the scale is pretty small. Robot mode. Act down, wait down. Mohawk is the combination of metal parts and contraptions melded together as an art project and a back alley thug from the 90s. It's spindly and sharp more so than the regular movie stuff to show how edgy he is. It's not a phase. I like the bike belt and the torso, the tires above the shoulder, although the soft notch in the joint won't line them up, and the little knives on the legs. I'm surprised the sheath doesn't store the weapon. Since they had to close the thumb, the extended fingers look like Wolverine claws. It's a lot of gray, but you'll find touches of gold and black details with some light gray and green markings across it. The head is a lot. It's ugly, nasty, and a crime against nature fusing a chameleon with a lionfish. Well, at least the name fits. Did someone say? <laughs> Jaw opens, head back, rotation, shoulder hinge, ball joint hinge, ball joint elbows, ball joint hips, hinged knee, and ball joint feet. Posability is actually pretty fair. Everything seems solid enough, so as an action figure, it functions. It's so ugly, I love it. Wheelchair mode. Activate. Let's take a look at the accessories. Oh god, you can decapitate him like the film. It uses a normal port, so we can plug it into 5mm pegs. Then there's a cool and simple knife based on the concept art. It can plug in the hand or tap into the back. The bike mode, I guess, does enough, but this is one ugly man. I'm sorry, but looking at this makes me think he wouldn't be able to live without pain unless he neglects it. That aside, if you can hold down your lunch, the posing, the sculpting is actually pretty good. Good. If you need more Decepticons from the film, here's a new option. At least he's got a kitchen utensil I could use. 